Hello people and welcome back to Putty Cook. I'm Swedish as you may know. Today I'm going to actually give you the best recipe for how to make Swedish meatballs. And we're just gonna start it. So the first thing you want to do when making a Swedish meatball is you want a pot to mix up the things in. There we have some pots. Come here guys. Oh, hello. Thank you, sir. Pot bone. Okay, we have the pot here. And now you want to make um, the, uh, you want like the minced meat, you want to make a combination. So first off, we're gonna want breadcrumbs as well as um, some egg, I think. No, some milk. We want milk. Uh, so we're gonna get egg breadcrumbs. Where the fuck can we get breadcrumbs? Breadcrumbs, okay, okay, it's not here. It's not here, where is the breadcrumbs? Hello, I would like to order a pack of breadcrumbs. Uh, bread is the best we can get, so we have bread now. Thank you. Okay, so when you have the bread, you want to make breadcrumbs. Okay, how do you make breadcrumbs? You also take this, plate. Bread. Okay, so there, place the bed here. You want to make breadcrumbs, so you want to take a knife. Uh, I'm a pro, so I can like juggle the... I can like juggle. Jagger with the man. This, you, this is how we learn in, in Swedish school. You know, whoop, whoop, whoop. We're gonna make bread. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. So you take a little piece and you chop it up into really tiny pieces. Yeah. Like this. Chop, chop them up even more. We don't afford this in school, guys. So we're gonna make our own bread crumbs. Come back on the on the fucking cutting board. We're we the cutting bread crumbs. Oh fuck. Yeah. Into the pot. Into the pot with the breadcrumbs. You don't want to use the whole bread. They are supposed to be like really tiny, uh, but yes, uh, sometimes it do be like this. So here we have the breadcrumbs. And you you don't want to make a mess in the kitchen, so you just gotta scoop it around. You, you're gonna make clean space. Like, just like this. So now, this is where we're going to mix everything. So now we're gonna get some milk. Ah, milk, perfect. Get there, perfect. Uh, you're gonna want to open this. So good, in the trash can, perfect. And you want to pour the milk down. You want a lot of milk, okay? The milk is good, you can sip. In the trash hole, uh, there we go. So here's the milk, shake it up a bit. Mm. And now this is going to just like, be moist for a while. So we're just gonna let this be. Blowtorch? We can definitely use the blowtorch. Okay, well in the meantime we can buy a timer. We can buy a timer and put this on. This is probably like 7 minutes. It's supposed to be every 10 minutes. So, 5 minutes. Not 5 seconds. That's probably around 5 minutes. Okay. Now what you want to do is, you in this like spicy mix. Ah, some milk. You want to add... Uh, I, you want to add onions, you want to add onions into here, and you want to add an egg and the meat. So we're gonna start off with cutting up the onions. We're gonna take a big plate and we're gonna take onions. Fuck your egg! <sighs> we can might as well take some meat and mince this up. Okay, like that, hello. As I said, the onion was supposed to go in here. If we want to make this a little bit quicker, we can just do it like this. Very lovely, very lovely. And you take onion, choppity choppity, perfect pieces. These are perfect pieces, you see? You wanna cut them up real, real smooth. So the onions, what they do is that they give you kind of like the combination of of the things. Why can't I cut them any anymore? Okay, so that's the onions apparently. And, oi, you guys, get the fuck. In there we go, oh this is good, this is a good mixture. Okay, now we can just do like this. <laughs> Bro, my, my entire food is out. Okay, go back inside. This is how the chefs do it, once you lose it. <sighs> if you lose something, oh Jesus Christ, now I became immediate. Okay, back up. Uh, if you lose something on the ground, the five second rules apply. Just put them back in like this. Perfect. So this, there we have that. Now we're just gonna crack some eggs in there. And you want to remove the shell. You want to really remove the shell. Okay guys, the thing is that the shell is actually really nutritious. So you're gonna want to use that. Okay, now we only, <laughs> now we only get shell. Perfect. So there we have the mixture of uh, egg, onion and milk in the breadcrumbs. Now we're just gonna want to chop the pe chop the meat up for a bit cheap. Oops. Oh! Fine, this go! This go, baby! 
Yeah, take that motherfucker. Okay, now we're gonna make the meat. So you really wanna chop it up before you wanna mince it, you know, you know, like I said. Come back. Come on boys, we're going on an adventure. Guys, go in. Like that, perfect. You see, now it actually means meat. It's definitely not a mixture. It's definitely means meat. And now we have all of this. No! What happened? We can save you. We can save you. We can save you. This is not over. Hey, chef! Don't look at me, chef. I'm all fine. I hope you keep the customers occupied. I'm just... Put it up. Chef. And this is going to plan. These are how it's supposed to look. Uh, we're gonna want to make the, the, the meatballs. Unfortunately, I don't think that... Uh, <laughs> I don't think that we can do that because there's not really meat in here. Oh, but there's one thing that I have forgotten. Salt and pepper! We need salt and pepper, for fuck's sake! Oh. Okay, the mixture is now completed. Uh, so we wanna go to the cooking station. Uh, we want to get... A frying pan, hello there sir. Uh, we want olive oil, I think. Uh, yes we want, but now we go, we go with sunflower oil because that's better for the environment. Uh, so that's really nice, hello. Oh. Uh, we have a lot of olive oil, we can actually pour it out and we do that because, well, in Sweden we actually use avocado oil for a lot of stuff, uh, but you don't have to worry about that. That's only like if, you, if you're feeling crazy. Like that. Oh my god, oh so good for you. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm in a mess. Okay, so now you just wanna pour in the mixture, the minced meat, the meatballs that you have rolled into here. Uh, like that. And you want to let that cook for a bit. And this is a mess, don't, don't uh, look at that. Uh, you do mashed potatoes when you do when you do this meatball. So we can do that right here. Uh, perfect, we have a blender already. Now we're gonna get the potatoes and mash them. We take some potato, potato. One potato, two potato, three potato. I juggle with the potato, I juggle with the... Can I juggle? I need butter. That's, per that's probably butter. And we're gonna use the butter when we cook the... So what by putting on the potatoes. We have not blended the potatoes. We're gonna need more potatoes. Now we're definitely gonna need more. This is looking a little bit burnt. Maybe we can lower the temperature a bit. Like this, the mashed potatoes are gonna be really good actually. Just like that. Mash it, mash it. Just like that, add uh, some butter. We're gonna make it good. We really want a lot of butter, this can't really. You can't have too much butter, in my opinion. You also wanna get some salt for this. We need the salt though. Um, you might as well just take pepper in the, in the mashed potatoes, that also works. Um, let that cook. This is looking almost finished. <sighs> That's my meatballs. And now we're gonna do the dessert, because this is like the meal. While this cooks, we can do the dessert. So I'm gonna take some coconut cream, and I saw that there were some strawberries down here. Then you just empty out the coconut milk. Chop up the strawberry. Perfect! Just like that, put that. Put that into the fryer and we're done. So now we can just serve the food. We can take a plate. The serves are gonna be here. Uh, let's just take a plate. Do some of that. Perfect mashed potatoes with some <laughs> with some meatballs. Make sure you get everything. This is definitely how you do it. I played my whole life for this moment. And there we are served. Uh, mashed potatoes with uh, Swedish meatballs, like that, and we also just going to give you the dessert right here. So here is the dessert, here is the dessert, oh, if, if no one wants it I guess that's fair, but you have it here at least. You don't have to do this, but you can put the gas tank here, you can actually put this, 